All right, guys, if you want the chance to win one of my brand new random head packs, all you have to do is leave a like on the video, comment down below, and make sure you guys are subscribed. I'll give one of these away in next week's episode. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Building the Battle of Bulge in LEGO. Today, we're going to be working on a couple different things. I honestly want to start off by probably cleaning up this. I've been meaning to do this for, I think, another... I don't know. I've been meaning to do this for a couple episodes now, so I got to clean this up. That's going to be my first goal. I'm going to clean up the mock try to get all these random pieces off of it, put all this in a bin, get that cleaned off. That, unfortunately, that mess is going to have to stay there because there's no other real spot for me to put this. I'm thinking about, I have another small table that I might put there. It's similar to the same size as that one in there, and that'll allow me to put all of these parts on there, and that'll be kind of like my printing table, which would be really nice. So I can maybe even slide this mock down and have just much more room down here to either make more videos or if we want to add on to the mock or if I want to start another mock series, I don't know. So there's a couple different things I've been thinking about. That is one of them. So I'm going to go ahead and figure that out. Another thing is I could finish cleaning off all this and I could put the parts over there, which would be nice. So I need to figure that out. Um, I might be working on kind of organizing in this video. It might sound weird, but I'm going to just try to get some stuff done. I'm going to show you guys along the way and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Okay. So the mock has been slid over probably two feet. This got cleaned up. So I put all these parts in this bin here. This bin, I'm probably just going to stow away because they're both kind of mixed with the same parts. I just want at least one bin of things that I can kind of grab. If I need bricks, I got bricks. If I need detailing pieces, they're all here. And then I also have to probably put this, I'll probably just put this back. I think this is where I originally kept it anyways, just this one of these drawers. And I'll eventually kind of take that apart and um, use that. So let's see, got that done. I've got to clean up. I'm just kind of putting these bags back here for now. I've got to clean up this area. I found a bunch of minifigure parts in this pile of bricks. So I sorted those out, grabbed those. And then this bin's actually all tree pieces. So I could finish building these trees. I probably will. And then we can completely get rid of that bin, which will be nice. And then all of this has been kind of dispersed. So I made a couple bins here of different parts. This is kind of unrelated. Um, and then these bins here, I kind of filled up. I started consolidating because there was like five different cups that had white torsos and I'm like well let's just put all those there and I consolidated some bins so we've got all blank torsos there I mean look at some of these they're olive we got white we got tan dark tan dark green gray dark bluish gray all those we got like legs and other things that are ready to print these are all the arms and then I've got to go through and kind of consolidate the rest of these and then we'll have this much more space so I don't know if I'm going to move the mock to the right or on the left or center it. I'm probably going to leave it kind of where it's at because I like the idea of having this corner because it's pretty open in my room right here and there's better lighting than in this corner. And that way I can set up and I could do like five minute figure builds here. I'll have my nice black tablecloth. Normally I do them on this table, but as you can see, this is always a mess. So I'm going to clean this up and this is going to be a great little workstation. So I'm really excited about that. So let's go ahead and keep working. Dun, da, da, da. It is completely cleaned off and I moved this over. Whoa, that got exposed, overexposed. This got moved over a little bit more, probably like 10, almost a full foot, 10 inches over to the left. I think I'm going to keep this. Man, the camera does not like that. Um, I'm going to keep this where it's at. Now I'm going to go through and collect all these pieces, put them in here, and then I'll probably... Once I get that done, I'll be able to kind of judge if I want to continue to put trees back here. I'm pretty sure I will, but if anything, I need a couple for back here. So I'm probably going to go through and build the rest of those trees. And then we should be on our way to having a nice clean setup. And yeah, I'm really excited about it. You know, I might clean up these figures. These are just kind of here for placeholders. And then I use those for taking some thumbnails. But other than that, I'm really excited about it. I still need to obviously clean all of this, but that's kind of always been a work in progress. We're getting, it's getting closer. So same with this, all of this is mainly because I'm releasing these. By the time you guys are seeing this, these will also be on the website. So if you guys are interested, um, basically it's gonna be five completely random heads. It could be zombie heads. It could be, um, 
you know, payday masks that are crazy printed. Um, it could be like any of these, you know, it could be horror, it could be military, it could be transparent heads, you know, there's all sorts of, it could be meme heads. Um, you basically get five heads. I think I'm going to sell these for $10, 10 or $12. And then these guys will also be coming back. There's five left of these. And then these will also be back in stock. So there's just a couple things I got to take some pictures of. And then this will basically be cleared off. You can see that these are already packaged up. So I've even got more here in case they're really popular. And maybe, just maybe, the Zombie Head Pack version 1 um, right here and then the version 2 will probably be back in stock as well. So just wanted to give you guys a quick update because I know a lot of you guys are asking about when stuff being restocked. So I just... I know that's not what this video is normally about, but I just wanted to show you guys that. So let me go ahead and clean this up right now. All right, guys, let's pick the winner from last week's episode here. Let's go ahead and scroll down. Do, do, do. And then we're just going to pick someone random. So I'm just going to stop right now. Go down a little more, maybe up a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Let's go ahead and go for Professor Lego. Hi, I love your channel. Can you build the Battle of Stalingrad? Maybe for my next mock, but thank you for the comment, and you actually are the winner, so make sure you send me an email through my website, bricktactical.com, with a screenshot of you logged into your channel, address, all that good stuff, and I'll get that prize out to you. All right, guys, we cleaned up the mock. It looks really bland right now just because there's so much white. We're definitely going to fix that, especially with doing more coloring kind of patches and whatnot here, dirt mounds and rocks, and then, of course, we're going to have trees, and then the farm. I still don't know where we're going to put the farm, to be honest. Um, it's really hard for me to decide. Definitely probably going to build the trees first, put those in place and figure out where I want to put the farm. I'm, I'm like 55% that I want to do it here and then like 45% back here, but I'm not too sure yet. So I don't know. I just need to think. I'm curious to see what you guys think. But other than that, I think we're going to wrap this video up. Sorry for kind of being a weird video, but I'm really excited that all this stuff's cleaned. So quick little update these five random head packs are going to be available so by the time you're seeing this video check those out um or actually if they're not available sunday they'll be available monday and then all of these items are going to be in stock so this is world war one flame troopers we have spartans we have swat um and then we've got a couple other items that are going up on the website. So just keep an eye on the website throughout the weekend. And then of course, Monday, Tuesday, if you don't see anything yet. Other than that, thanks for watching guys. Check out the last episode right there. Check out the full playlist right there. And then subscribe by clicking right there. Remember, we're gonna give this away at 85,000 subscribers and we're coming up on that. So thank you for everyone subscribing. Thanks for everyone who watched these videos and I'll see you guys next time.